Welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. And Gabriel Belmont has just awakened in 2014. Awakening! Centuries later, I again walk the streets. Keeping an eye on you, skids. Yeah, I think he's gonna stand out. You can barely pass for human. Help me, and I can free you of your immortality. I'm going to assume the glowing boy is important. What's over here? I can't jump or do anything really. Let's just look around this corner. I... No, no hidden goodies? Okay, fine. wonder what happens if I try to cross the street. English times. I'm gonna guess I'm in North America. Maybe, maybe uh, actually in England. Now that I think about it, that's he uh, does come from Europe, right? Don't go. Please come with me. Well, okay, kid. You did ask nicely. Use the magic word and everything. Please get help, you, sir. Do I look like I can help you? I'm wearing curtains. Um, sir. Of mercy. Well, there's no kill button. You remind me of the hunchbacks that once ran my magical castle. Spare us a coin? Who says alms anymore? Mm, yeah, getting a British vibe from this uh, phone yeah. booth. Doing some gear. A drug dealer, eh? Admittedly, I look kind of like a meth head. Never seen a supernatural creature look this weak. Not even as they died. What the hell is that? Great! Demons! Fantastic! Do the fast recovery uh, thing either. At least he took the skids with him. Yes, yeah, much too weak to survive. You? You remind me of someone I hated once. Oh God. 
Katie, come here! Look, Daddy, the man's moving. Catherine, you come here! Now! Oh, you stay away from that! It pleases me to see you recovered, old friend. Indeed, old friend. No! Arise. Our guest is just a little confused. I know what he wants. You see before you, the legendary vampire killer. What? Your old weapon, if you recall. The only weapon capable of ending your immortal life. But that was left in it destroyed. Dimension X or but whatever you that see, was. You can have the eternal rest you crave after all. Something's wrong with it, the colors are off. But first, you must help me. Prevent Satan's return to the world. Then, I swear to you, I will deliver the fatal blow to your heart myself. And I am sure you will fulfill that vow. Since you sent Satan back to hell a thousand years ago, his human offspring, or acolytes as they call themselves, have been dormant. I suppose that they, that all of us, feared your wrath and great power. But not now. Now, even my bodyguard is more than a match for you. The Acolytes know you are weak, and are preparing for their father's return. Now they fear nothing. Don't they fear the mighty Zabel? Only you, in full possession of your powers, can defeat them. Follow me, please. Why should Death himself worry about cancer? Makes we sense, must find it? and destroy the Acolytes before they can finalize their preparations for Satan's return. It won't be easy. They govern the world of men from the shadows. 
Not even I know with any degree of certainty who or where they are. They won't come out into the light unless we can force their hand. The Acolytes must never know who hunts them down. The element of surprise will give us the advantage. Until you are at full strength again. And you don't know who they are or where they are? Do you know that this city is built upon the foundations of your castle? The Acolytes are focusing their attentions here for very good reason. Satan has specifically chosen this place for his return. He means to enslave you first, to humiliate you for what you did to him. Let's get on with it. Achievement unlocked, Vampire's Kiss. The Acolytes must plunge the world into chaos before Satan can be summoned. Their activities leave spectral traces, which are difficult but not impossible to follow. This is the headquarters of a powerful pharmaceutical corporation. I suspect that one of the Acolytes is operating from there. I don't even know what that means. The complex was sealed two months ago and is protected by magic. If I were to use my powers to see what is happening there, they would be able to trace it back to me within a matter of minutes. So, I will send you to the corporation via a portal. But we must be quick, so as not to arouse suspicion. The longer the portal remains open, the more likely we will be discovered. Look for any sign of the Acolyte, but be careful. What are you waiting for? I suspect this is one of the bits I was warned about. Lords of Shadow 2 is uh, supposed to have somewhat diluted the awesomeness of the combat by adding rather questionable stealth sequences. That was a pretty awesome portal, I gotta say. Shit, that whole town does look like Castlevania. Or well, if that is the name of the place. people like 50 feet away. That's better. You can now check your travel book. This is your travel book map. Use it to find and select your missions at any time. Main mission. I must investigate Bioquimec uh, Bio Bio Corporation. This is the items page in your travel book. Use it to find out what weapons, powers, and special objects you have. This is the skills book in your tra uh, skills page in your travel book. Use it to buy new skills and see the mastery level of your weapons. This is the lore page in your travel book. Use it to find out more about the Castlevania world and its inhabitants.
Dracula. Not even his descendants, the Belmonts, nor the innumerable army of the Brotherhood of Light have even come close to annihilating him. He is Dracul, the Dragon, an immortal being whose cursed soul is condemned to remain trapped in the body of the Vampire, bound to his castle for all eternity. I don't know that part. From the beginning, the unbearable yearning for revenge has set, driven him along the path of ire and destruction, a path of infinite suffering and despair, a road that he would now like to leave behind. That's why the power of your god cannot destroy me, because I am his chosen one. That's a pretty kick-ass image, let me just say. Boom! Brotherhood Soldier. The boys who prove that they are skilled enough with the sword are recruited by the Brotherhood of Light in their campaign against the forces of evil. The tough physical and mental training they are given makes them very efficient in close combat, providing them with ironclad determination. However, if their willpower is not enough, they wear full armor and carry large shields to protect their lives instead. As lower-ranking members, the Brotherhood Soldiers are sent to their deaths by their generals with the sole hope of offering them a better fate than their own. Follow me, brothers, for if you do, you will meet a death more honorable than any you could imagine. Cardinal Vicus, Grand Master of the Brotherhood. Paladin. Those who aspire to be paladins are raised in monasteries, educated under the dogma of faith, and trained in the art of war. Their whole life becomes a test in which any mistake, as insignificant as it may be, leads to the complete failure of their mission. Only the purest heart capable of showing absolute determination and an unswerving uh, faith, will be recognized as God's chosen one. Beyond receiving the admiration of all in the favor of the Council of the Brotherhood of Light, the Paladins are rewarded with weapons and armor of gold, forged by the blessed, best master blacksmiths from angel bones. Their go aim from then until the end of their days is to serve God in the battle against the offspring of evil and guide their troops to victory. I was like you once, but your god showed me another path. Dracula. Siege Titan. With the upsurge of battles between the Brotherhood of Light and the Forces of Darkness, the engineers of the Holy Order quickly completed the last great work of Gandalfi, the Siege. Huh. The last great work of Gandalfi, the Siege Titan. It is a g giant wood and metal automaton, inspired by the stone giants of the forces of Egharta commanded in the Necromancer Wars. For over a decade, hundreds of craftsmen worked to complete the mechanism, powered by the divine energy of the gem that the priests placed in its head. The battle, in battle, it would be ready to use its enormous extre extremities, smashing a regiment with a single stamp of its foot, pulverizing the walls of the castle with its fist, and dispatching a group of soldiers inside. Its value in war was such that only after it was built did the Brotherhood decide to start the siege of uh, Dracula's castle. One word is enough to set it in motion. Destroy H. Hughes, Master Engineer. Zobek. Zobek was, together with Carmilla and Cornell, one of the old founders of the Brotherhood of Light, who answered the call of God leaving their darkest being on the earth. The Lord of the Dead, however, despite his absolute mastery of necromantic magic, could do nothing against the supremacy of Satan, and his existence was relegated to the kingdom of the lifeless. Exhausted and humiliated, he remained hidden for an era, watching over the world of men through his countless spies, extending his influence and preparing his return. When he learned that the power of Dracula had weakened enough and that the arrival of Satan was near, Zobek materialized <coughs> once again on earth, he left behind the arrogance of his past to take on the role of an influential businessman, and he blended in directly with society up to the present. Now he has a new plan, a perfect plan that will pit his two worst enemies against one another, leaving only he, Zobek, to become lord of all once and for all. You can have the eternal rest you so crave after all, but first you must help me stop Satan from returning to the world, and for that, this is my promise to you, old friend. Zobek's Lieutenant 
No one knows the identity of the man accompanying the astute Zobek in his crusade for power. It is rumored that he wears armor forged from metal extracted from the Abyss. That would explain it. He really reminds me of the Forgotten One, just smaller. There's a different, you know, design to his armor. <clears throat> and uh, that he adeptly brandishes a mystical sword by the name of Massimune. Well, shit. Capable of going beyond the material realm. Some records indicate that he is the spirit of a damned general. Others that he is a demon that must pay a debt to death. However, the most popular story is the one that classifies him as the result of the necromantic reanimation of a legendary warrior. After all, it would not be the first time that Zobek used witchcraft to create a powerful armed guard. Zobek sent me. He feels you might need my help, as you are still weak. Heart of Dracul When Gabriel replaced his blood with Laura's, a change began that went beyond the purely physical, drowning out the love, compassion, and tenderness that filled the man's heart giving way to the merciless darkness of the dragon. It is a supernatural power that, fed by the blood of his victims, flows through his veins, healing the wounds inflicted on him and prolonging the torturous curse for all eternity. Maybe there really isn't anything left. Shadow Whip Gabriel's deeply rooted training of the combat cross remained in Dracula. The Prince of Darkness now uses his own blood, which takes the shape of a sinuous whip, to inflict pain and death wherever he goes. The dark fluid is bound by a supernatural force, and it hardens on impact. Before they die, its victims feel as if thousands of fangs penetrated their flesh, breaking bones and tearing their life force from them. Oh, that's cheery. I had heard that they made efforts to make this one more like a traditional Castlevania game than the first one, which was uh, really more of a linear character action game. I wonder if he even knows what a car is. Oh, and uh, before I go, I thought I'd mention a thought I had. Zilbeck mentioned it's been a thousand years. If it's been a thousand years, it's entirely possible this is meant to be the year 2147. Or maybe 2148, because, uh... Lords of Shadow 1 began in 2147. <laughs> Arg. All right, just making sure that my health doesn't uh, go down every time I do that. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I thought this was, like, way, way, way more complicated than the first game, but it looks like it's just laid out in a, uh, different way. Damn it. No, no, this is the way I remember it before. Hmm. Well, uh, the timer went, so let's call it. <laughs> I'm Burning Dog Face, that's a good shot. And I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2, when Dracula continues his explorations of the modern world. Later!